In the heart of the whispering woods, where petals whispered secrets and sunlight danced on silver leaves, lived a fairy unlike any other. Hello everyone, want to play with me again? Or let You've probably seen those kids animation videos online, right? Millions of views and making huge money. But here's the secret. You can create those videos too, even if you have zero experience. Imagine cute and pretty fairies. Smiles interacting to other characters in a out of this world settings. The adventure is just beginning. Sounds exciting? Stick around because I'm about to show you step by step how to make animated kids videos from scratch. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to create and upload your very first animated video. Trust me, it's easier than you think. The first thing you'll need is a good story. And we've got the perfect tool to help with that. Before we dive in, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on animation making. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. Step 1. Creating Story To create an engaging story, I'll be using ChatGPT. This AI tool can quickly generate a well-written, creative story for you, making it easy to jumpstart your project. Don't have ChatGPT? No worries. You can use Google Gemini, which works similarly and is completely free, so you won't need to pay anything up front. Here's what to do. First, go to ChatGPT or Gemini, and in the text box, just ask ChatGPT to create a story. I already have a story idea in mind. I just need ChatGPT to refine it by adding more detail and enhancing the narrative to make it well-crafted and engaging. And what I entered here is, create a short story about a young fairy known throughout her village as the only one without a magical gift. Despite her lack of powers, she remains kind-hearted and curious. One day, their peaceful fairy village is attacked by a swarm of dangerous black moths. The other fairies use their unique abilities to defend their home, but the sheer number of moths becomes overwhelming. Seeing the chaos, the little fairy bravely lights a torch and runs toward the nearby lake. The moths, drawn to the flame, follow her in a massive cloud. Once at the water's edge, she throws the torch into the lake. The moths chase the light and are drowned in the water, saving the entire fairy tribe. Impressed by her bravery and cleverness, the mother fairy grants her the long-awaited gift, the power of light. She is given a wishing wand that can summon light, marking her as a true protector of the fairy realm. Once I clicked the Generate button, ChatGPT delivered a beautiful and engaging story. And after that, I ask again ChatGPT to create 10 visual image of each part of the story. Indicate the script with dialogue in every part and include detailed visual prompt of each part. Include camera movement and scene visual prompt too. After, a few seconds, ChatGPT divided the story into 10 parts, each with a script that included narration, a visual prompt for the scene, and suggested camera movements. I noticed the fairy's name was Leora, so I changed it to Pinky. Then, I asked ChatGPT to create detailed prompts for each character. In just moments, it provided rich descriptions for every character in the story, including their type, age, personality, visual appearance, facial expressions, and accessories. These details are essential for maintaining character consistency throughout the entire story. Next, I copy the story, complete with scene visual prompts and camera movements, and paste it into my document. Then, using the character prompts provided by ChatGPT, I locate each character's name within the story and insert their corresponding character description in parentheses directly after their name. I repeat this process for every character that appears. This method ensures that character consistency is maintained throughout the entire narrative. Step 2. Generating the video clip. To generate the video clip for our story, I will be using Flow. Flow is an AI-powered filmmaking tool developed by Google, designed and built by teams at Google DeepMind and Google Labs. It leverages cutting-edge models like Veo3, Imagen4, and Gemini to translate detailed scene, character, and camera movement prompts into high-quality cinematic video clips. To access Flow, simply search Flow on Google and click the first link that appears. It should be the official URL, labs.google.com flow, then click to enter the platform. Click Create with Flow, then you need to log in. Before getting started, 
click on the settings to choose the model you'll be using. Under Output per Prompt, I recommend setting it to 2, so it generates two video clips per prompt. Next, select the model you want, VO2 or VO3. While VO3 is the latest and offers impressive video generation capabilities, I'll be using VO2 for this tutorial. That's because VO3 isn't yet available in many regions. Don't worry, I'll create a separate tutorial on VO3 soon, so stay tuned. For now, let's go ahead and work with VO2. To begin using Flow with VO2, we'll start by generating video clips based on our story. We'll be using the Text to Video feature. First, go back to your script and copy the visual prompt along with the camera movement details. Then return to Flow and paste that prompt into the input field. For a cleaner prompt, I remove the phrase camera movement from the text before submitting. After a few seconds, Flow generates two video clips based on our visual prompt. As you can see, the results are highly detailed, the backgrounds are stunning, and the character movements are impressively smooth. This text-to-video generation tool is truly one of the best available. Preview both videos, then select the one you'd like to include in your scene. Once selected, the video will be added to your scene collection. To continue building your sequence, click the plus sign button. You'll have the option to either jump to the next scene or extend the current one. Use Jump To when you're moving to a new location, new event, or a different moment in your story. Use Extend when you want to keep the scene flowing naturally without changing the setting. I clicked Extend to seamlessly continue the next part of my story. Next, I returned to our story and copied the visual prompt and camera movement from Part 2. Then, I pasted it into the text box in Flow, removed the phrase camera movement to clean up the prompt and clicked generate after a few seconds two video clips were generated preview both clips and select the one that best matches the next scene in your story then click the plus sign and click extend repeat the same process for the next part of your story Go back to your script, copy the visual prompt and camera movement for part 3, and paste it into the text box in Flow. Remember to remove the phrase camera movement for a cleaner prompt. Then click Generate. After a few seconds, Flow will produce two video clips. Preview both options carefully and choose the one that best fits the next scene in your story. Then click the plus sign and click Extend. Continue following the same steps for each part of the story until you reach the very end. To save time, I'll fast forward the rest of the process in this video, but don't worry, it's just a repetition of everything we've already done. So don't get confused, just follow the same method. Copy the visual prompt from the next scene, paste it into Flow, generate the video clips, preview, and choose the best one. Keep going until your full story is complete. And here are the video clips I created using Flow VO2. Each one was generated from the visual prompts in our story, resulting in beautifully animated scenes that bring the narrative to life. To download them, simply click the downward arrow icon located at the upper right corner of each video clip. This will save the clip directly to your device. Step 3. Video editing. To put all these video clips together, I'll be using CapCut. It's a user-friendly editing tool that allows you to arrange your clips, add voiceovers, sound effects, music, transitions, text, and more, making it perfect for creating animated story videos. Before we dive into editing, here's a quick tip on where I get background music for my videos. I recommend using the YouTube Audio Library. It's a great source of free, royalty-free music that's safe to use, especially for monetized content. While CapCut offers a wide range of music, many tracks are copyrighted, so be careful when using them to avoid any copyright issues. To begin editing in CapCut, start by importing all the background music and video clips you'll be using for the project. Click on the Import button, then locate and select your audio and video files from your computer. Once everything is imported, Simply drag all your video clips onto the timeline to begin building your project. 
As you may notice, there's a watermark located at the bottom right corner of the video. To hide the watermark, highlight all your video clips, then increase the scale slightly. After that, adjust the position of the video in the preview screen just enough so the watermark is no longer visible. Now let's create a title page for the story. First, move your cursor over the video clip you want to use as the title image. Then, click the three horizontal lines at the top right corner of the preview screen and select Export Still Frame. This will automatically generate a snapshot and add it to your media library. Simply drag that image to the very beginning of the timeline to serve as your title page. Next, add your title. Go to the text section and drag the default text onto the timeline. Type your title into the text box and position it on the screen where you'd like it to appear. To style your title, click on text effects and choose the design that best fits your theme. Next, let's add a voiceover to the title using CapCut's text-to-speech feature. Simply click on your title text, then go to the text-to-speech option. Browse through the available voices and click on them to preview how each one sounds. Once you find a voice that suits your story, select it. CapCut will automatically generate the voiceover and place it on the timeline just below your text. Now, let's apply animation to the title image. Click on the image in the timeline to select it, then go to the Animation tab. Browse through the available animation styles and choose the one that best suits your story's tone. Once selected, the animation will be automatically applied to your title image, giving it a more engaging and dynamic introduction. Next, add an intro soundtrack to the title. Go to the Audio tab, then select Sound Effects and search for the track you'd like to use. Once you've found the soundtrack you want, drag it to the timeline and place it where you want it to play, typically right beneath the title image. The power of light. Now let's begin editing the main content of the video. Next, drag in the next video clips and arrange them in the desired order. Make sure each clip follows the correct sequence of the story to keep the flow clear and engaging. Now go back to your script and copy the narration text from part one of the story. Return to CapCut, add a default text layer above the corresponding video clip, and paste the narration text into the text box. Then, click on Text to Speech and select a voice that fits your narrator. Once you click on A Voice Style, it will automatically apply to your selected voiceover. Next, place the background music beneath your video clips in the timeline by dragging it to the audio track section. This ensures the music plays smoothly along with your video scenes. Then, select the background music track and lower its volume to ensure the voiceover is clear and easy to hear. Next, arrange the video clips along with the voiceover, making sure they match the timing and sequence of the story. You can adjust the speed of the video clips, either increase or decrease it, to better sync with your narration. Next, add sound effects to your video. Go to the Audio tab, then select Sound Effects and browse through the options. Choose the effects that best match and enhance the scene in your video clip. Next. Drag another default text onto the timeline. Then, go back to your script and copy the character's dialogue. Return to CapCut and paste the dialogue into the text box. Apply the text-to-speech feature, making sure to select the right voice for that character. The character's voiceover will then appear on the timeline. Remember to use the same voice for your narrator and keep each character's voice consistent throughout the entire story to maintain smooth and clear storytelling. Next, repeat the same process for the second part of the story. Remove the text so that only the voiceover plays during the scene, keeping the visuals clean and focused. Go back to your script, copy the narration or dialogue for part two, then return to CapCut. Add a new default text box, paste the text, and apply the text-to-speech feature. Make sure to select the same voice for the narrator or character used in part one to maintain consistency and arrange the video clip to follow the story's sequence. After the voiceover is generated, align it with the corresponding video clip on the timeline. Adjust the clip's speed or timing if needed to match the voiceover smoothly. Now I'll speed up the process and move through the remaining parts and fast forward. Don't worry if things move quickly. Just follow the same steps we've already walked through earlier.
As long as you stick to the process, copying from the script, adding text, applying text-to-speech, arranging your clips, you'll be right on track. After you've arranged all the video clips in the correct sequence, added the voiceovers, sound effects, and applied any desired effects to enhance your visuals, you also have the option to add captions to your video. While YouTube provides automatic captions, adding your own can enhance clarity and viewer engagement. To do this, go to the Caption section in CapCut and click Generate. After a few seconds, your captions will appear on the video. To style your captions, head over to the Template tab and choose a design you like. The selected style will be automatically applied to your captions. The power of light. Be sure to delete any captions that appear over the title screen. It's time to preview your project. Watch it from start to finish to ensure everything flows smoothly and matches the story. In the heart of the whispering woods, where petals whispered secrets and sunlight danced on silver leaves, lived a fairy unlike any other. If everything looks good, you're ready to export your project. Click on Export, then type the file name for your video. Choose the folder on your computer where you want to save the final video. For high quality output, select 1080p resolution and make sure the MP4 format is selected. Once everything is set, click Export and your video will be processed and saved. Now take a moment to sit back, unwind, and enjoy watching the final video. The Power of Light In the heart of the whispering woods, where petals whispered secrets and sunlight danced on silver leaves, lived a fairy unlike any other. Hello everyone, want to play with me again? Or let's pick Pinky, some. Show us your magic again. I don't have any, remember, but I can still help you with your wings. Not all fairies have magic powers and that's perfectly okay. What's what truly that? matters is do- There's too many. We can't hold them back. If they want the light, I'll give them one to chase. Through the twilight, she flew like a comet, with darkness at her heels. Come on, then follow the light. I had to fight the moths to protect our kingdom. One day, when you grow up, you'll understand and you'll do the same. Mother Fairy, you're here, but why? Oh, what's this? Pinky, you have given more than magic, you've given hope. With this wand, you carry the power of light. Let it shine for all who dwell in shadow. From that day on, Pinky would transform whenever she needed to summon the power of light. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Check out our other videos too.